<laughs> anyway, the United Kingdom is closed for business. <laughs> that was Bobby Kotick. Game Pass is not sustainable. <laughs> that was Sean Layden. <laughs> Xbox Game Pass is bad for business. <laughs> that was Jim Ryan. <laughs> and then... It's not what they can do for us. It's how can we help you? <laughs> that was Phil Spencer. <laughs> anyway, here we go again. Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yeah. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. Or excellent. But this might be the final blow to the FTC. Um, <laughs> let me read this. <laughs> let me read this. Listen to this. Microsoft respond to the FTC filing about Game Pass changes to the U.S. Court of Appeals. It says here, earlier this week, the U.S. Federal Trade Commission sent a filing to the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit in its uh, ongoing court battle with Microsoft to contest its acquisition of Activision Blizzard in 2023. The FTC complained that Microsoft recently announced Xbox Game Pass prices increase and its upcoming standard plan is an example of our product degradation <laughs> because the standard plan will not include day one game releases. Last Friday, Microsoft filed its own counter complaint against the FTC letter to the U.S. Appeals Court. The Verge Tom Warren posted the letter on his ex account. And it says here uh, Microsoft has responded to the FTC filing about. Game Pass price increase. It's called the FTC letter a misleading extra record account of the facts and says the FTC is wrong to call Game Pass standard degraded version because it includes multiplayer. And then it says here the FTC is calling Microsoft new Xbox Game Pass standard tier a degraded product in a filing with the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth District. The FTC claims Microsoft is exceeding market power, no, exercising market power post merger of Activision Blizzard. It says here, uh, the company states the FTC filing was misleading. It feels the, com the f it feels the upcoming standard plan will include Xbox Online multiplayer for $14.99 a month. That is something that the Xbox Game Pass uh, console plan, which is no longer being offered for new subscribers, does not have and would would cost an extra $9.99 a month, making it a total cost of $20.98 a month for those uh, subscribers. Microsoft stated in its filing that Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which is now a which is not which has not which now has a price of $19.99 a month, will still offer more value compared to the old Game Pass console plan with its additional online multiplayer costs. And then here's the blow to the whole situation right now. It says here the final all, the, the filing <laughs> also says that in previous court battles the FTC focused on its claim Microsoft would keep Activision Call of Duty franchise from people who bought Sony PlayStation console once the acquisition was completed. Instead, Microsoft and Sony now have a 10-year agreement to keep new Call of Duty games on PlayStation platform. The filing adds, added that there remains no evidence anywhere of harm to the competition. We are still waiting for the U.S. Court of Appeals to make a final decision in the case. And that's the end of the article. Good article on NeoWind.net. Look, the part that says, um, first things first, uh, Jim Gryan didn't want a three-year deal from Microsoft. Uh, his goal was to block the deal. And then you had the FTC and the, um, the CMA, the UK, they were doing cross-border communication. So once the case fall apart in court, when the FTC got grilled by, a, in, grilled by a Judge Jacqueline Scott Corley, the, the UK now tried to, say, tried to say that their decision was not based on the FTC's decision, but we all know that's true. That's not true. And Jim Ryan 
he was trying. He would. He didn't want a three-year deal, so he wanted to block the deal. So the CM, the FTC, and the UK was trying to hit Microsoft from both ends. And once that fall apart, the deal went through. But the statement here it says uh, the company stated that the FTC filing was misleading because it feels the upcoming standard plan will in will include Xbox online multiplayer for a month. Wait a minute. No, that's the wrong one. It says here, uh, the filing also says that in previous court battles, the FTC focused on its claim Microsoft would keep Activision Call of Duty franchise from people who bought Sony PlayStation console once the deal was completed. That statement is false and it's not true because Jim Ryan didn't want a deal from Microsoft. His goal was to block the deal. And then um, the CMA and the FDC was doing cross-border communications. Yep. And the case fell apart. But then Microsoft, um, um, but then the statement about the less enough competition is not true because Microsoft was sitting there giving out 10-year contracts to EE, Ubitus, Booster, Roy, Nintendo, uh, NVIDIA, and a, whole, and a couple others. So um, the, F, uh, the Federal Trade Commission right now, um, uh, this is like the uh, the straw that broke the camel's back, so to speak, or the final blow to the head, if you want to call it that, because they really don't have a uh, they really don't have a case, you know, and they got grilled by Judge uh, Jacqueline Scott Corley. So now, the Ninth District Court of Appeals now is going to look at Judge uh, Jacqueline Scott Corley's uh, decision and see her ruling, and then they're going to make their they're going to base they're going to base their decision off that. And now for the uh, FTC now to make a false claim that is not true, that that at, that goes in Microsoft's favor now, and that and now the Ninth District they're gonna look at they're gonna look at that, look at the statement that the CMA uh, I mean that the FTC said that the filing also says that in previous court battles the FTC focused on its claim Microsoft would keep Activision. Call of Duty franchise from people who bought PlayStation console. That's not true. You know, they were giving out three-year contracts and Jim Ryan was trying to play hardball. You know, but once but once the FTC lost in court, he took a 10-year deal. So yeah, um, the FTC uh, is caught between a rock and a hard place, so to speak, man. So uh, yeah. The ninth district now is going to look at this, look at Microsoft uh, 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 filing, and then look at the judge's decision, and then make a decision from there. Yeah. So. Yeah, and then and then on top of that, you had countries that were supporting Microsoft and all this. You know, countries. <laughs> you know, I think it was like forty plus countries, and and or even more. So yeah. Yeah, you know, the FTC uh, is caught between a rock and a hard place right now. You know, yeah. And then, you know what? The funny thing is too is like Sony. You know, Sony missed out on some opportunities during the Activision uh, court case because they went and bought Bungie for six billion dollars, but AT and T had NetherRealm Studios, who was supposed to be working on the Marvel vs. DC, and then you have Rocksteady. And um, WB Games, those three studios were on the table from AT and T for five billion dollars, and Sony missed out on that. And then you had Sony sitting there trying to act like they never had games, but they had three solid shooters: SOCOM, Killzone, and Resistance. And those games need a new episode, new chapter, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, but look, look what Sony did though when they released. Uh, Hell that when they when they did Hell Diver, you know, and then they missed. They were using that to try to get uh, new subscribers on to uh, on PlayStation, <laughs> and then they delist the game, and then they want Valve to to en to enlist it, <laughs> and that didn't. <laughs> yeah, and uh, they took they took they took some blowback for that. So yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah, um, this doesn't look good for the FTC right now. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't doesn't look good, man. Um, to say that um, Microsoft was trying to keep Call of Duty Call of Duty away from PlayStation, 
especially when Microsoft was giving you a contract, <laughs> and you're gonna tell the the court that you want to block, you want to block the, you didn't care about the deal, you want to, you want to block the, you wanted to block the merger, <laughs> but then you end up taking a ten-year contract. <clears throat> Not looking good, so yeah, FTC is uh, caught between a rock and a hard place, man, because that that night that cert, that court of appeal is gonna look at the. <laughs> uh, 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 Corley's uh, decision, Judge Corley, and then take it from there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Um, Activision Blizzard was just um, was just up for grabs, man. And, um, anybody could have gotten them. You know, it was on a first come, first serve basis. So yeah, Facebook had a whack at it, but Facebook <laughs> wasn't interested. <laughs> so yeah, Microsoft saw it. Look down the road and see who the competitors were. Competitors were with big pockets, <laughs> and beat everybody to it. That is that. So yeah. So yeah, that's the story with this uh, with this uh, with this decision though. But the uh, but the ninth district is going to make their decision though, based on the judge's uh, decision, Corley, uh, Corley's uh, decision. And then they're going to look at this now, Microsoft uh, uh, filing. Now they're going to look at that, and you know, um, um, Microsoft. Uh, they, they're going to look look at Microsoft response and their claim. And they're going to use that, and then look at the judge's decision, and then <laughs> make a decision from there. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video for y'all to enjoy them. Nice talking to you people again, Chris, those Star Wars Star Trek fan, bored, dark side. Go. Peace.